Hello, this is Daniel Ritchie, the developer of Howler. And uh, in this new uh, version that's coming up, I would like to show one of the features that has uh, recently, recently been added, uh, which is a new cropping tool. Uh, previously, we had uh, the ability to crop to a selection, and we've added another tool which gives some more uh, manual control over the process. So I'll just go ahead and click on Crop Tool. Uh, you see a... Um, a sort of a bounding box with some guidelines up here. Uh, there's some little red lines down the middle that help you uh, with composition and there's also some controls for scaling this bounding box as well as you can also rotate it uh, to say you wanted to correct for uh, either rotation of the image or to make a, a more interesting uh, presentation or maybe to give some Dutch angles uh, but not only that there's also a uh, shear tool which can help um, with de-skewing some images in fact I'll uh, give an example of that let me load in an image that I have Use the browser um, some cameras especially some of the less expensive cameras will capture an image from top down instead of all at once and if there's motion in the image or in the uh, if the camera is moving uh, you'll sometimes get these crazy skewed images as you see here this was taken in uh, Roswell New Mexico lovely place by the way um, not at all uh, what you see in the movies where it's just open uh, Southern California desert. It's really a nice place. Uh, lots of garden, uh, lots of uh, farmland. Um, they have a Walmart and a McDonald's shaped like a UFO. Uh, really nice place uh, to be. But uh, this was taken at the the public golf course. Uh, but I happened to be moving the camera at the time, and it was a low cost camera, and it, it just sheared the image really badly. Uh, so using that cropping tool, you can actually correct for this if you wanted to try to salvage an image. Uh, while you're cropping, you can now do that as well. So I will use this shear, this handle on here, to shear this a little bit. I will not keep the whole image, but I'll keep most of it. Let's see. I will try to match roughly that. Uh, that angle that we have in there. That was a little too much. Let's see, right about there. And I will get as much of the image as I can without going over. And that ought to be good enough. I'll get a little more. Uh, oh, that ought to be good right there. I'll crop that. As you can see, at the same time of cropping the image, we've also corrected for a really bad shear transform uh, created by a, a low cost camera that uh, scans from top to bottom instead of taking a photo. Uh, all at one time. So that is one new feature column coming to Howler 9.1, the new crop tool. Uh, talk to you again later. We've reached the point of uh, feature lock, which means we're not adding new features for this version. We're uh, fixing existing code, fixing bugs, uh, working on stability, uh, and sooner or later we'll be calling uh, uh, release candidate stage, which is um, only fixing uh, mission critical. Uh, showstopper bugs uh, and then after that we'll decide when the release will uh, take place and so thanks for watching uh, this is Daniel Ritchie a developer of Howler 9.1 and see you again later